Do you have an event coming up and need to track your future attendees information? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of Event Registration Forms. Now, we're gonna cover a lot of things in this video, but if you have any additional questions, be sure to ask us down below in the comments or come back to this landing page for even more information. Now, as you can see, you can easily manage your event registration, and like I mentioned, you can even sell tickets through JotForm. And a huge perk with this is there's no processing fees. And for today's example, we are definitely going to be utilizing a template. So as you can see right here, it says discover event registration template. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, as you can see, we are in the overall form templates gallery and over on the left hand side, it is pre-selected for us to already be in event registration forms. And you can see it's broken down even further into either virtual or guest registration forms. So if we take a quick scroll, we can see we have those virtual event forms, we have the guest registration forms, and then we also have other event registration forms as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at this conference registration form right here because it looks like it's already gonna have a payment gateway added in. So we'll use this template. And you can see this is a very basic form. So we have a lot of the normal information that you would collect. We have their address. And then we have the two different conference fees. So we have one as a member and one as a non-member. Now the great thing with this is if we choose this section, we can open up the payment settings and we can see that this this right here is the PayPal Pro integration. Now, if you don't have PayPal and you want to use something else, the best way to make a switch is over on the left hand side. We're going to choose add form element. We're going to jump over to payments. You can see right here how it says PayPal Pro. We can choose these three dots and we can switch to another payment gateway. And here is where you can choose exactly which payment gateway you're going to want to use. So I'm going to go back up here. Let's just make a quick switch over to square. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and get connected. Perfect, and then right down here we have that payment type. So if you wanna change this to be donations or a user defined amount, you can do that. But since we have a very specific amount for our conference, we're gonna go ahead and leave it on sell products. And then we can also add in different ways for our attendees to pay. Maybe you wanna turn on Apple, Google, and Cash App Pay. Perfect. Now, another thing that's going to help this fit in for your conference, for your event, is we can play with the form designer to have it fit your brand. So if you want, we can change the pages color and maybe it's more of a blue color. Now, maybe you have pictures from past events. So kind of like the header from this one, right? like a downward shot of people at your past conference. If you wanna use an image like that, you can upload a page file and it'll fill out the entire background. But let's go ahead and X out of our form designer and let's give this a preview. We'll take a quick scroll. Perfect, I'm gonna head back up to the top. Let's do fill form and we'll scroll down to the bottom. It looks like we have one attending and he's gonna do the member full access price and we'll do credit card and submit and let's head over to our submissions and here we see john's information we have his attending information and of course once i have paid we will have that there but it really is as simple as that if you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm for your event registration definitely let us know down below in the comments and again don't forget to check out that features landing page as well now if you like this video and you got some value hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video i'll see you next time